Okay, I received the uh, fast charger uh, 400 volt Godway. Um, you have five, seven, and nine amp selection. And here we have the on and off switch 80, 90, 100%. And this is the difference in size. Lengthwise, it is about two inches. If you need to know exact, it is exactly two inches wider. And widthwise, it is about half an inch wider. And heightwise, about the same. Weightwise, OEM measures uh, 25 ounces, so that is pound and a half. And this guy, 54 ounces, uh, so that's nearly four pounds. And then I like to check the ends make sure they've done it right so it's not plugged in but i'm going to check the polarity uh pin number one so i put this on continuity come on all right, all right. So pin one and two should give me a signal showing that they are bridged. And then nothing on the other pin. So pin one and two are bridged, that's good. And now pin one and two are positive, by the way. And then pin four and five are bridged. That's, that's just a false signal. Okay, so four and five are bridged negative. One and two are bridged positive. I know that because I've already tested it, but we'll do it again on video. And on, on the Gotway MSP, pin number one, if you're looking at the wheel uh, from the front, is on the right side. So. Um, pin one is here and then two, three, four, five. One and two positive, four and five negative. <coughs> and the way I check that, I put a couple of these guys in so my, I don't short anything. There we go. Put this on direct current and we'll put this here and bring this down. There you go. So this one is positive and this one is negative there we go polarity is right if it was wrong there we go we'll do that there will be a negative sign under the dc so right now i should see a negative there we go negative so we'll check that was pin one and five one positive five negative 
Now we'll go pin two and four. Correct. All right. And now to check this guy. Do, 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 do. All right. Reads a hundred and one volt. Now we're going to check the polarity and voltage of this side. All right. And pin number one with the uh, slit at the bottom, pin number one would be to the left. So when you go onto the wheel, it will correspond to the wheel, wheel pin out. Now we'll do pin number one positive. Where are we? There we go. Pin number one positive, and pin number five negative, and it reads 101 volt. Then we'll do pin two, and pin four, and again 101 volt. Fluctuates between 101 and 109. Okay, and nothing on the other the uh, pin 3 is dead ok so everything checks out now I'll plug it in and make sure we don't kill anything we've got way wheels at least with my 84 volt if I plug the charger into the wheel without this being turned on I get sparks at the uh, uh, charge port so I am accustomed to turning this on before I connect it to the wheel okay and it is at 80 percent and it is at 5 amps it shouldn't do anything because that wheel is fully charged all right, here we go. There you go, it died straight away because the wheel is, I think, 100%. And it is measuring, sorry, it is at uh, 90%. Um, it is at 98.1 volts, this says. Uh, let's see how accurate they are. Okay. Now I try. See. DC. Doesn't matter if I'm. Yeah. 98.1. Okay, good. One thing I've noticed, this guy, even when you turn it off, it's going to take a while for it to turn off. It counts down, even if you unplug it, it's still, I suppose the capacitors are still uh, fully charged. It doesn't have a reset button to discharge the capacitor. So it takes a while for it to die. And then once it's done that, then you gotta turn it back on and put it on whatever percentage you want and then plug it in. If you don't do that, uh, it's not gonna do anything. So basically what I'm saying, if you charge it to 80% and it gets to the charge and this guy shuts off, 
Then if you decide ah, I want it at a hundred percent, if you turn this guy to a hundred percent, it still it it won't charge. You have to recycle this guy. So basically, take it out of the wheel, reset this, then plug it back in once you have set it to correct settings.